Hello, so today we will still be discussing about motion on the inside of a smooth vertical circle. If you remember, we had learned about three cases. The first case is when a particle moves, okay, but not enough velocity. Uh, it will just oscillate like this, okay, we'll go here and then come back down. Okay, it will oscillate, that is the first case. The second case that we had discussed was, okay, the particle will start from this point, it will go upwards, up to this point then will it will no longer have uh, sufficient velocity then it will fall down like this okay uh, this is the second case the third case is when the particle is can move on in the circle round and round okay that is when the velocity is really high the velocity of projection uh, what we are interested today is what really happens after the particle leaps from the circle okay that is uh, suppose you are okay suppose a particle is traveling from starting from this point and it is leaving at this point what happens exactly after it leaps sure it won't it will no longer be in contact with the circle but what really happens okay so as always we will denote this one as center o this one as a and this one as a dash. So what really happens here when the particle starting from A, from the lowest point, the initial velocity is U. Okay, so after this point, because it is no longer in contact with the circle, so the particle it's falling freely now. Okay, what do you mean? Okay, of course there will be some initial push so that's why the particle will follow this part, something like this. Okay, and in this part, okay, this part from here to here that the particle is moving. Again, I repeat, the particle is moving from A. At this point Q, it loses contact with the circle. Then it will follow this part. In this part, the particle, it's like a projectile. Okay, it is like a projectile. It will have some velocity over here. It will have some velocity v, but afterwards it will be moving in a parabola. So this part over here will be a parabola because it now behaves as a projectile. Okay, so and over here, what we can do is this. Okay, we, we can draw this horizontal line. And also we can join OQ. Okay, uh, we can join this. So we can uh, try to investigate this motion, and also we can set Q as the origin. Remember that when we were doing projectile motion, okay, when we were doing projectile motion, we were thinking that the particle is moving in this way, but uh, easily you can throw the particle in this way. Okay, it will land somewhere over here. But if the ground is not there, then it will follow this part. This is exactly what is happening, uh, happening here. It's like you are throwing a projectile from here with some velocity v, and it is traveling this part, okay, which is a projectile. And if you remember the equation of the part of the parabola, it's y equal x tan alpha minus gx squared by 2u squared cos squared alpha. This, this equation is when the origin here is O, the velocity of projection is U, okay, and alpha is the angle of projection. Similarly, over here, what, what we will do, we will make this one as the angle of projection, okay, because now it is like it's traveling in this direction, so we will take this angle as alpha, okay, but instead of U, now it will be v okay so let's see and over here if you take a look if this angle is alpha then this angle will also be alpha okay again it's very it's a very easy proof okay you just have to use that the tangent this is the tangent which is the velocity it's perpendicular to the radius okay you can extend this line Okay, then you can calculate the angles you will see that this alpha and this alpha 
this angle and this angle they will both be equal and we will denote it with alpha again just to repeat this alpha is here u it will now be replaced with v okay so that is exactly what we will do uh, but before that let us take a look at this question okay so the question says this a particle is moving on the inside of a smooth vertical circle so that when the particle loses contact with the circle it will describe a parabola whose equation okay we have to find the equation of that parabola where alpha is the angle made by the particle with the vertical okay so this alpha it is the angle made by the with the vertical as measured from the highest point when it leaves the circle so it leaves at q alpha is the angle made with the vertical with the highest point okay we are not measuring it from the lowest point okay this is theta okay when measured from the lowest point let us call it theta okay and then when we are measuring it from the highest point let us call it alpha okay and theta plus alpha it will be 180 degree okay we also have to find the latest rectum in terms of the initial velocity u and the radius a and we also have to show that if the particle passes through the center afterwards okay so what is happening this is just a general description okay this is just a general description so what is happening it's giving the question that afterwards this particle will fall through the center okay so let me just draw this parabolic part correctly okay it can it, it can travel anywhere but specifically for this problem we have to show that when it passes through the center okay something like this okay when it passes through the center like this through o then that initial velocity is given by that expression okay square root 1 by 2 gr square root 3 plus 1 okay so let's see okay so this is the figure okay so let u be the initial uh, let u be the velocity at lowest point velocity and lowest point let a be the radius of the circle uh, let it lose its contact at q let it lose its contact at q uh, when the angle is theta okay as in the figure then what can we do since it loses contact then we can use uh, those uh, formulas above so we can find out r uh, now uh, v square it's written as u square minus 2 ga 1 minus cos theta we had derived this one some time ago let us call this one as equation 1 we will need this one okay and also also r it's equal to u m u square upon a minus 2g plus 3g cos theta okay so let's call this equation 2 at q at q r is equal to 0 because it loses contact when it loses contact uh, the normal reaction it will be equal to zero uh, so this will imply okay uh, r will be zero so u square by a minus 2g plus 3g cos theta it will be equal to zero so we can find out cos theta uh, so uh, what can happen 3g cos theta it will be equal to 2g minus u squared upon a so plus cos theta it will be 1 by 3 okay if you simplify you will be getting this 2 minus u squared by ga okay so you will be getting this let us name this one as equation 3 okay let us name this one as equation 3 Okay, so we will be needing one okay we will be needing equation one because again 
this velocity v now behaves as the initial velocity for the projectile motion okay this one is the only the initial velocity for the motion in the circle whereas v behaves as the initial velocity for the projectile motion that will be happening afterwards so we will be needing v okay so substitute cos theta over here substituting in one so v square will be u square minus 2 ag 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 2 minus u square by g a okay so let's simplify this so we'll be having u square minus 2 g a uh, 1 minus 2 by 3 uh, okay so, uh, and over here we'll be having plus u square by 3 g a so we'll be having u square minus 2 g a plus 4 by 3 g a okay may, maybe let us simplify further minus 2 a g we'll be having over here 1 by 3 plus u square by 3 g a again we can still simplify and still simplify it we can get uh, u square equal u square minus 2 by 3 g a plus okay minus 2 u square okay i hope i did not make any mistake okay minus 3 minus 1 will give you 2 okay so this is actually 2 by 3 Okay, so it will be minus. Okay, just uh, just make some correction. So it will be minus four by three. Okay, so after simplifying this one, uh, plus u square by three g a. So after simplifying, okay, you will be having that. So it will be two by three u square. So it will be u square upon 3 minus 4 by 3 g a sorry sorry this is 1 is 1 this is 1 1 by 3 uh, so over here we'll be having 2 by 3 so sorry i made a mistake so this is what we are having uh, so over here will be 2 by 3 g a so we can take common 1 by 3 will be u square minus 2g a okay so this is v square this is v square which behaves as the velocity for the projectile motion okay so now we can calculate now equation of projectile the equation of the projectile after the particle leaves q after the particle leaves the circle that is it is no longer in contact is y equal x than alpha okay because alpha now behaves as the angle of projection minus g x square by 2 v square cos square alpha okay so this is what is happening so this one we can leave it as it is x tan alpha minus okay, g x square v square we can substitute this value okay, 2 v square will be 2 by 3 u square minus 2 g a and over here cos square alpha okay cos square alpha we can write it as cos square pi minus theta okay cos square pi minus theta so this one will be equal to that is y equal x tan alpha we can leave that one as it is 
minus g x square okay this one we can simplify we will be having 2 by 3 u square minus 2 g a okay cos cos pi minus theta this one it's equal to cos minus cos theta right cos pi minus theta it's minus cos theta so this one you can replace it with minus cos theta if you square it you will be getting cos square theta only okay so this is what is happening gx square so we can substitute this one okay u square minus u square minus 2ga uh, okay v square uh, okay we, we can we can substitute all the values over here okay just take let me take a look at the question okay they they actually kept alpha okay so they actually kept alpha okay so we will keep this alpha okay so we'll keep this one cos squared alpha okay so this one we can write it down okay v square the formula for v square we had gotten Uh, v square v square we had gotten it to be 1 by 3 2 by 3 sorry 2 by 3 uh, u square minus 2 g a okay so this is what we had gotten g x square okay now let us try to simplify this one okay so over here we are having this one we have to convert it into alpha now let us first find out what is cos alpha cos alpha okay i will calculate it to this side cos alpha is cos pi minus theta which is equal to minus cos theta but cos theta from equation 3 okay if you substitute equation 3 okay you will be getting 1 by 3 u square upon g a minus 2 okay so this is what we will be getting okay so you can substitute that one here okay so 1 by 3 okay 1 by 3 okay we can write it as okay this 2 you can divide it will be u square by 2 Uh, u square by 2 minus g okay u square by g a minus 2 okay you can write this one down as u square minus 2 g a okay 2 by 3 cos squared alpha so we can write it down like this okay this is the same thing okay maybe let us write here okay but cos alpha it's equal to this okay so from here we can get from here we can get 3 cos alpha equal u square minus 2 g a by g a okay so that is why this one this one it will become x tan alpha minus g x square okay let us keep this 2 by 3 u square minus 2 g a it will be 3 g a cos alpha 3 g a cos alpha cos square alpha okay so we are almost done so this one will be x tan alpha 3 and 3 will get cancelled g and g so minus x square by 2 a cos q alpha okay let us see okay whether that is what we require okay so indeed it is okay so this is the equation of the part of the projectile in terms of alpha in terms of alpha okay so if you notice that this one only depends on alpha now okay where cos alpha is equal to this
Okay, so we have finished the first part. Also, we need to find the latest rectum. Also, if you see the question, the latest rectum, it's equal to the formula. If you remember the formula for the uh, latest rectum during projectile motion, it is equal to 2 u square, right? But over here it will be v square cos square alpha upon g. Okay. So we need to find the latest rectum in terms of the velocity and radius. So it will be 2. Okay, this one if you simplify, if you substitute all the values from what we had gotten over here from cos alpha, and if you also substitute v squared, you will be getting us 2a cos q alpha. Now you can substitute cos alpha from what we had gotten over here. You will be getting 2 u square minus 2ga whole thing cube by 27 gq a square okay just try to substitute cos alpha from what we had gotten here okay if i remember correctly cos alpha it was equal to 1 by 3 u square gr minus 2 okay so you can substitute this value here you will be getting this so this is the latest rectum in terms of the velocity and the radius Okay, u square minus 2ga whole thing cube, 27 g cube a square. Okay, so now what will we do? Uh, we will finish this question, the third part. Show that if the particle passes through the center afterwards. Okay, then we have to find the initial velocity. Okay, so the particle will... Uh, Uh, it will passes through the center to a cos cube alpha. Okay, so since it passes through the center now, it passes through the center through O. Okay, it passes through the center O. So what will happen? Remember that when we were doing projectile motion, we had set out the origin to be O, and then it can pass at any point HK. You are noticing over here that H is positive because it is in the path, okay, in the positive direction, and K is also positive. Whereas over here, what is happening? The X coordinate, it will be positive because uh, the, the particle is moving to this side, okay? Whereas the y coordinate it will be negative. Okay, so if you are not saying the x coordinate it is this. Okay, let us name it as m. Okay, coordinates of O are OM oh sorry QM. Um, this is the x coordinate which is positive because the projectile is moving in this way. Okay, whereas the y coordinate it will be negative because initially the particle was moving upwards and now it is moving downwards. Okay, so that is why it will be negative. Okay, so first moving up and then down. Also, the velocity is uh, in this direction. Okay, so that's why it will be negative. If you are saying QM, QM it can be written as QM it can be written as A sine alpha, A sine alpha, okay, and MO it can be written as A cos alpha, A minus A cos alpha. So this is what is happening. Okay, so now, now we can substitute it here, substituting in equation four, substituting in four, substituting in equation four, y will be minus a cos alpha, x will be a sine alpha, tan alpha, 
again x will be a sine alpha a square sine square alpha divided by 2a cos cube alpha so this is what we will get now we just need to simplify a bit okay let us simplify so a a and all this a will get cancelled so over here we'll be getting minus cos alpha and this one will give you sine square alpha by cos alpha this one you will be getting uh, minus sine square alpha by cos cube alpha okay now what we will do we will take this term here okay or maybe we will take this one here and take this one to this side so we'll be getting sine square alpha by cos cube alpha this one will keep it as it is sine square alpha cos alpha plus cos alpha okay so this one take it to that side it will be cos alpha now we can simplify a bit cos cube so this one we can take the LCM sine square alpha plus cos square alpha cos alpha and cos alpha okay we will be having sine square alpha by cos square alpha equal 1 okay so this is what we are, are getting so that is tan square alpha equal 1 okay I hope I did not oh sorry I, I forgot this 2 okay so this 2 everywhere should be 2 okay so tan square alpha will be equal to 2 Okay, so what will we actually do okay uh, you can see that everything depends on cos alpha remember that we had gotten a value for cos alpha before so that is why uh, we will change this one into cos alpha so tan square is sec square alpha okay, uh, we can write this one we can add one to both sides okay so we'll be getting sec square alpha equal 3 so 1 by cos square alpha equal 3 so cos alpha it will be 1 by root 3 okay so this is what we are getting okay now what will we do since we need to find the velocity again okay if you don't remember cos alpha it is cos pi minus theta equal 1 by root 3 this one it is minus cos theta 1 by root 3 okay cos theta the value we can find it from uh, equation 1 uh, sorry equation 3 uh, equation 3 gives us the value of cos theta I forgot okay let me just refer it will be 1 by 3 2 minus u square on g a 1 by root 3 okay so after simplifying this one okay ultimately i will write it directly now okay after a few steps we will be getting a u it's equal to 1 by 2 gr root 3 plus 1 okay you can fill in these steps simplify them and you will be having this which is the initial velocity that we want to get okay so this is the initial velocity okay i made a mistake i write gr it should be ga okay so a is the radius of the circle until next time